If you're looking for a great selection and a great experience for your next Harley-Davidson, come on down to Mount St. Harley-Davidson here in Del Barton, West Virginia. We have new 2023 models in stock and ready for delivery. Special financing available. Or choose pre-owned with one of the largest inventories in the tri-state area with great low prices. Visit our showroom filled with licensed Harley-Davidson apparel and more. Don't write that check until you check with us, Mountain State Harley-Davidson, 61 Priest Bottom Road, or visit us online at mountainstatehd.com. Craving a taste of Central America? Head to Sal's Steakhouse. Sizzle your senses with mouthwatering steaks, juicy burgers, savory chicken, and fall-off-the-bone ribs. Sal's Steakhouse, where your taste buds will thank you. Unleash the flavor at Sal's. Taste tradition, taste the difference. Time out for great food. This season, everyone is stopping at Double Quick for their pregame and postgame snacks, drinks, sandwiches, and dinners. Come on in and grab a bucket of Double Quick chicken with all the sides, a real family meal for on-the-go eating. Then there's everyone's favorite, the famous Double Quick pizza rolls. Buy them one, two, or six at a time. We've got sandwiches galore, your favorite drinks, chips, and snacks, and so much more. Be sure and use your Double Quick rewards card, and good luck to all the teams from the team here at Double Quick. And we are back here on Buckley's Creek as we got 60th District Tournament action here on the D&D &D Sports Network. Greg Fleming, Jackson Estridge, and Daryl McCoy here on the call. Greg, this right here, you know, it's that time of year. Win, advance, lose, go home. Yeah, this is this is what you work for all year right here. You know, this is the, the early mornings, the late nights, the all extra hours. This is what every coach and player is ready for right here. The uh, Real quick, before we get started, guys, we want to remind everybody, Greg, I know this will inter interest you. You can be in the 30th anniversary of the Afro Man and 69 Boys video of Tootsie Roll. Well, yeah. uh, there we go. <laughs> go to the Williamson Fieldhouse at uh, May 26th. If you hit that QR code on your screen right now, guys, you can get tickets. Upper level, $35. Lower level, $45. Also, I want to thank Blackhawk Mining. They had a huge job fair today. Call them if you're interested in a job in the coal fields. Proud sponsors of the 60th District Tournament are Hornets Restaurant in Phelps, Kentucky, Southside Mall in South Williamson, and our good friends at Southside Buildings and Carports. Now, they must have been a technical, is it? Are they shooting? No. I thought she was shooting technicals there for a second. Yeah, I was going to say something <laughs> went on. We didn't get catch there. Yeah. They're the, going to go ahead and start off with a big technical already. Greg, this is a great host here. When you talk about 15th region gymnasiums, there's not much nicer than Pike Central. No, there's not. This is probably only the second or third time I've ever been in this gym. But I, I look around and I see the blue and orange. It, it kind of throws me back to my playing days at Tulsa with the blue and orange. So I, I had to look at her for a second, make sure I was at the right place, you know. Yeah, that, <laughs> well, and, and that's what I was getting ready to say. You're probably used to the blue, white, and orange. Oh, uh, yeah, it, it looks good. I, I threw on a hoodie that was blue and orange, and my wife said, where are you going to, Tulsa? I said, well, no, I better go ahead and just take <laughs> this off. So that, I realized that, you know, Pike Central over here was blue and orange as well. So. Didn't want no one to think that, you know, I was over here rooting for somebody that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. And we are back here as uh, you're seeing, looks like Phelps is going to be the visiting team on the scoreboard. Belfry will be the home team. And, you know, coming into this game, 
there might Belfry might be the hottest team of any team in the region, Greg. They are 14 and 13 on the year, won eight of their last nine. Oh yeah, well, right now is the time if you want to peak. Right now is the time to peak. You know, you want to yep. be as hard as you can right now going in tournament time. That was number 14, Callie McCoy. Number five, Bailey Norman. Number 22, Faith Potter. Number one, Caitlin Sloan. And rounding out the starting lineup was number 24, Kylie Weddington. They are head coached by Justin McCoy, uh, who's done a fabulous job with this group this year. Justin uh, is in, I think, his third year as the Hornets head coach. Number 32, Adeline Belcher. Number 21, Kylie DeBoard. Number 22, Clara McNamee. Number three, Jenna Sparks. And number 10, Jalea Warren. They are head coached by Kevin Deskins, who I'm not sure, Greg, Kevin may be the longest tenured girls coach in the 15th region. Oh, well, wow. so that, that's something, you know, to, to be proud of. It seems like any uh, more of these nowadays, coaches changes every year or two, so you, you never know who you're going to have from one school to another. And, and there's Miss Jenna Sparks coming in. Jackson, what's she averaging on a year? 12 points and 11 rebounds a game. Uh, n not uh, very uh, often you see a girl with her size. Greg. No, you, you sure don't. I seen, uh, I watched a game, I think it was last night that y'all done uh, over in West Virginia, Wayne Pioneers, the, yep. the lady. And they, they've got a couple good sized girls on that team. Oh, Phelps won the tip. Good job there, sneaking in there, stealing the ball there by Kylie Weddington. She swings it over to McCoy. Back out. Looks like Belfry started off in the matchup zone here a little bit. Come out to a man. Potter trying to hit Callie McCoy on the backside there. McCoy throws up the baby hook, no good. Julia Warren on the push here. Kick it out. That's Adeline Belcher, the help to the board. And Kylie the board, there's one thing she's known for, and that's defense. Third Third jump shot. Scoreboard board up. We've got a foul there on Phelps number five. Let's see. Was it Bailey? Bailey, Bailey Norman. Yeah. It's, yeah. Got her on the arm there. And Greg, you know, I don't know. Uh, I don't know for sure uh, what went on, but when Jaleel Warren left the team uh, in mid-December, she come back, and this Belfry team has been a completely different squad since then. You know, uh, right now, as I said, they are the hottest team in the region, not the Pikeful Panthers. So uh, if I'm anybody uh, come 15th region tournament time, I'm not wanting to see Belfry. And they swing it over, Phelps on the push. Oh, or, yeah. Come into the land of giants there, then. <laughs> you know, and, and, and I like the thought process there. You know, uh, you, you know, if you're going to win, you need to get Sparks in some foul trouble. Yeah, you got to attack the rim. I know yeah. sometimes you'll take a, a block or two, but, you know, you get one or two fouls caught on her real quick, it changed the game up. Kylie Wedick misses the straightaway three. Adeline Belcher gets the rebound. She's going to get it out. Jaleel Warren picked up three-quarters court by Bailey Norman. Now, Bailey Norman, last time they met, done a good job on Warren. Good job there attacking. To get it to fall. Sparks with the that's rebound. That's where that height came in right there. Just reach up over and grab the rebound. Just nice turnaround put in. You know, and you also, you know, because of Sparks size, people overlook uh, Clara McNamee and her size. You know, Clara McNamee also very large forward for the region. Yeah. So as we're sitting here looking right now, Belford jumped out to a 4-0 lead on the Phelps Hornets. You're watching 60th District Tournament action live on the DND Sports Network. We are an interactive broadcast. Hit that like and share button. Get these numbers up. There's Belcher. McNamee, she's going to turn, shoot from the free throw line. Citizens Bank, bank shot. Good job by McNamee. 
You know, and if you're Belcher, you know, Belcher wasn't even looking for a shot. If they're going to give it to you, Belcher. Yeah, yeah she, she got that out on the wing there, and nobody in the vicinity of her, but, yeah. you know, maybe maybe looking for the high post there. Got her a better look for a shot. We're going to send Kylie Weddington to the line. McNamee going to get called for her first foul. First one up and good. Think from both. Uh, Phelps come out of here. It looks like on a box and one here. We've got uh, number five. Uh, let's see. Bailey is guarding a box and one with him. He told me he was going to put a uh, box and chaser on Warren and uh, said that they was going to try to get it out of Sparks' hands. And they're not doing a good job of it right now no, because that, <laughs> that was a tough turnaround jumper too. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, to, to be able to take and get get a 17 footer off with consistency like she does, it's going to be hard to guard her. Yes, it is. Now they'll kick it over. Three point bucket by Bailey Norman. No, they gave her a two. Yeah, I think they said she was on the line there. So I didn't pay attention. Uh, Belfry swinging over to the far wing. Back out, top of the key, three. No good. McNamee tried to keep it alive, but waited to come down with it. Faith Potter. I think they got a timeout here, but Phelps ended up getting a 30 second there. Good timeout by Phelps. We'll take a quick break with them. We'll be right back on the D&D Sports Network. There we go. If you've recently had a loved one pass, bring them to Hall and Jones Funeral Home in Burgey, Kentucky. We let you grieve in peace instead of worrying about a heavy financial burden of burying a loved one. Here at Hall and Jones, we have multiple chapels that can accommodate any size family. We look forward to helping you and your family here at Hall and Jones. And we are back here, Greg Fleming, Jackson Estridge, Daryl McCoy on the call here as you see uh, Belfry leading Phelps eight to four here in the first round of the 60th district tournament. You know, Greg, this may be the first district game in the state. I could be wrong, but you know, I know in Eastern Kentucky, it's the first one. Yeah, I was looking around seeing if there's any other games today. And when you, uh, when you got in touch with me, I thought maybe we was going over in West Virginia or something. Cause yeah. I, I think their section was already started this week, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I was at Wayne Logan the other night. Oh, good defense by the board. Yeah, that Wayne girls team, it's been a long time. That's second best girls team I've watched in the D&D &D era. They, they're, they're legit, they really are. When I was a head coach at one of the feeder schools for Tulsa, I had the privilege of coaching against a bunch of girls at Wayne. And now they're legit, they're good. They are, the only team better was when Dina Geralds played shy and then with St. Joe. Joe. Yep. Yeah. There you go, nice steal there by Sparks. Jaleel Warren going to walk it up. Warren swings it over to the board. Belcher. See, Belcher, they're leaving that, Belcher open. She's got to shoot that. Yeah, she took it that time. Yeah. But, yeah, they, they're just like daring her to shoot the ball. Yeah. McNamee cleaning up the mess there. You know, and, and that's it. You know, whether you make it or not, you still got to make them respect it because that takes pressure off your teammates. Yes, sir. Yes, it does. Yeah. Uh, Kick it out to Norm. Corner from the wing. A three from the wing. McCoy still yet to see one fall. Kicks it up to Warren. Nice take nice. by Warren. Sparks coming in with the rebound, getting fouled on the put back. Shooting foul. And Jenna Sparks, been around the world. She started her career at Belfry, went to Pikeville, then went to Mingo Central last year. And now she's back at Belfry. First one up and off. And, and I think, was it Tuscan College I think she may have committed to? I, could, I think that's what it was. Somebody let us know in the comment section. Marshall Wagner tuning in. Second one up and good. 
University of Kentucky got a lopsided win over Alabama. They needed that one. You know, I was here earlier today. Paintsville and Pike Central boys played. Pike Central boys laid one on Paintsville, but Paintsville back at it tonight versus Lagone. Uh, it, you know, I've watched Pike Central a couple times this year, and I tell you, their, their guard play is, is unreal. The board just picked Tally McCoy's pocket there like a thief in the night. And comes McCoy. Swings over to Norman. He's off the mark. And that's Lexi Mapes tuning in. Greg, keep an eye on Lexi Mapes there, number 11. This young lady, one of the best young stars coming up in the 15th region. Uh, she's just a seventh grader. I'm pretty sure a seventh grader. Let us know, folks. Seventh or eighth, but I think she's a seventh grader. Norman. Nice look in. Yeah. Stretches it out. Three pointer up. No good. Weddington has the ball. She's going to back it back out. Set up a set here. Norman saves the turnover. Well, they got a foul well, on the arm there. You know, Darrell Phelps, they've had some good looks. They just, you know, they ain't falling for them right now. Yeah. And, Greg, that official right there, you think he knows a thing or two about raising girls basketball players? That's Cassidy Rose's father. Yeah. Yeah, he, he knows a little bit, I think. <laughs> <laughs> they kick it out. You got number one in the ball game now. Who is that, Greg? For the Hornets. Number one. There's another bucket by Jaleah Warren. And number one is Caitlin Sloan. So Caitlin Sloan, another timeout by the Hornets. They'll take one. We'll jump out too. We'll be right back here on the DD Sports Network. Come on down to Valley Pharmacy where the staff treat you like family from the second you walk through the door. Valley Pharmacy will take care of all your pharmaceutical needs. Valley Pharmacy wants to wish the Shelby Valley Wildcats the best of luck in tonight's action. MGC Supply is your complete source for drainage and erosion control products. MGC Supply also sells services and installs Cummins generators. MGC Supply sells and delivers limestone gravel for businesses and homeowners. MGC Supply is your solution supplier and is proud to sponsor all the teams in Eastern Kentucky. 2590 U.S. Highway 23 South Pottville, Kentucky, 41501. Give them a call today at 606-433-0077. Or you can call them at 606-794-6765. And we are back here as we see Kevin De Deskins talking over with his troops. Greg Fleming, Daryl McCoy, and Jackson Estridge on the call right now, Greg. 15-4 lead for the Lady Pirates of Belfry over Phelps here in first round 60th district action. Now Libby Golf says Tug Valley girls won their sectional championship on Thursday night with a win over Tulsa. Oh, a big rival game there. That was one of the biggest upsets I've seen uh, so far in post-play action. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I think Tulsa go to, uh, beat them both times in the regular season. Yeah. Now I think Tulsa has to go to St. Joe on yeah, Tuesday. And that's not one place you want to no. go to. <laughs> it is not. The good call there, double dribble. Dodo Row on top of that one. Guys, hit that like and share button. Get these numbers up here as we're here at Pike Central High School on Buckley's Creek 60th District Tournament. We are your 60th District Tournament action. Uh, got all your 60th District Tournament action, and we have had it since the D&D sports era has started. So make sure you guys stay here all week long as we'll bring it to you from start to finish. Weddington, pull up. Oh, banks yeah. open. Bank shop. Yep, Citizen Bank bank shop. You know, the board walking it up. One thing about girls basketball, Greg, is, it, you know, they're a lot more fundamental. You can really, if you draw out a play, you can see them run it. 
Yes, you can. And I, and I was a head coach for girls basketball for about three years in middle school. And I tell you, they play two times harder than what boys do. I, 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 I agree with you. I mean, they, they get after it now. They sure do. Well, and, and you know, the, that's one thing I like. If you tell a girl, you know, hey, girls go out and run this play, they'll run this play. But, you know, boys, it's more about athleticism and, yeah. But you got Abby Vipperman in the game now. She's a Belfry, uh, I guess, legacy, as uh, her grandfather, Albert Baramate Vipperman, is who the stadium is named after. Oh, really? So here comes Kylie Weddington. Her, her, it's not her grandfather, her great-great-great-grandfather. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Got her on the arm there, I believe, when she went up for the block. How about this? Frau Phillips. Guten talk, Frau Phillips. Brenda Phillips tuning in. So Jenna is going to Tusculum, uh, they said. Beautiful college. Was off on the first one. McCoy's got to hit these right now down 17 uh, to 6. They got to get any kind of points. Got to, got to capitalize on every chance they get right now. That's it. McCoy off back iron, no good. That'll end the first quarter. It is the Lady Pirates of Belfry 17, Phelps 6. We'll be right back here on the d, &D Sports Network. Eastern Kentucky understands the importance of taking care of one another. That's why after graduation, I came home. 25 years later, I've put together a team at Glen Martin Hammond Law Offices dedicated to fighting for your legal rights. When you're dealing with a sensitive legal issue, you want someone who will take care of you as a person, not just another case. Our team will help you through the legal process of social security, personal injury, work injury, car wrecks, wrongful death, medical malpractice, and nursing home neglect. Call us today. Whether you're trying to hit the trails in style or you're trying to protect your side-by-side, -side, call J.I. Fab in Pikeville, Kentucky. They got great deals on road cages, rock sliders, bumpers, nerf bars, and more. Remember, for all your custom ATV, UTV parts, J.I. Fab is your one-stop shop for everything. And we are back here on Buckley's Creek. Greg Fleming, Jackson Estridge, Daryl McCoy on the call here. We got 60th District Tournament action first round kicking off here. First postseason game of the season for the 15th region. And we got it here for you right now. Belfry with a good showing up 17-6 on the Phelps Lady Hornets. Today's game brought to you courtesy of Southside Buildings and Carports, Hornets Restaurant, Southside Mall. There's Sparks. Lost control of it, Phelps. Come away with the rebound and gets it to Weddington. You know, uh, Greg, the young lady right there, Kylie Weddington, is the sister of Tyler Weddington. And I know he, he's a man child. <laughs> you know there. a lot about him, him, don't you? Yeah, he, I tell you, he's a load now. Yeah. Hey, yeah. And you know, he's legit for a, a big guy now. He, he sure is. He, to me, he's the best big guy in that class, you know, with Brock Woods right there behind him. You know, and, and I'm not saying one's better than the other, but his numbers, you he, know, he put him sure, up there. He's a walking double-double, that's yeah. for sure. Now yeah, swing it over that far side. Good job denying it, but Claire McNamee. Oh. Yeah, they got steps on her there before she got hit on the arm. McNamee, uh, also a really good volleyball player. And, uh, you know, she's a girl that will play next level volleyball if she chooses to. Hey, you know, it's a sport that's up and coming right now. The volleyball, it sure is. It's, it seems like it's a growing real big everywhere anymore. To me, I think that is one reason that girls' basketball is on the decline. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot I of girls play it. Yeah. Marty Casey says, good luck, Lady Hornets. Uh, Lassie Hatfield says, let's go, Phelps. Carolyn Dillard says, let's go, Lady Pirates. So guys, hit that like and share button. Get these numbers up. Let's get this up over 300 for these girls. Let's see if we can do it. Greg said you can't. Uh, Bailey Norman gets it to Weddington. Weddington's uh, top of the key uh, three. Sinks a three. 
needed that, Darrell. That trying to hopefully start a little run for them. Well, you, it's good to see one go through. That's it. Get, build that confidence yep. up now. I agree. And go Mapes. You're going to get fouled. Yeah, and I, I do have to say, you know, Dodo Rowe and Rodney Rowe have become two of the best officials in the region. You know, they, I think they did both do a tremendous job. They, they do. Uh, they done a few work JV games over at that yeah. tournament we had and stuff, and I thought they'd done a real good job at it. I do too. There's Jalea Warren, straightaway three, no good. A little hard on that. They've got a breakaway. Here comes Callie McCoy. Ah. McCoy. Maybe got a little scared out of the shot there. Good job jumping there, tying it up. That's right. Don't give yep. up on the play. Come back after it. You know, Greg, Jalea Warren comes into this game averaging 18 points a game, leading the Lady Pirates. Uh, they'll kick it out. McCoy has on that far side. Mate's Step trying to back. sell the foul. Oh. Yep. Good job sneaking in there with the rebound. Faith Potter. Gonna draw the foul. You know how the saying goes: nobody's hotter than Faith Potter. When she gets hot, man, she's hey. she can be a load to deal with. You guys, make sure if you're in the Phelps area and you're watching this, call Hornets Pizza right now. Hornets Restaurant and order some great food, best cheese sticks in Pike County. Now Warren taking the screen out top. Up three. Uh-huh, yeah, a little short. short. Now, McCoy dribbling up the sideline, going to be pushed push out. Down. No, they, they didn't call the push out. They, it's going to go the Pirates' way, so they should step out. Guys, don't forget, also, if you're in the Belfry area, order some food from Three Guys Pizza and Brew, located in Williamson, West Virginia. Great place to watch a game. You know, that's a good job about Phelps right there. They're, they're front and they're playing behind the post and now. Oh, they got it that time. They got Belcher for pushing her out. Yeah. But yeah, now they're, they're front and spar. It's saying put, put one behind her now, making it kind of hard to get inside. And nice adjustment by Coach McCoy. Yes. Here comes McCoy out top. Picked up by Belcher. Takes the screen by Potter. Oh. Oh, they're going to get her for the travel. travel. I thought she might have got bumped a little bit. but Yeah, I, I like the thought process, though. Mark and Marshall Williams says, go Abby Vipperman. Yeah. Sitting here, you know, Kevin Deskin's doing a tremendous job, maybe his best coaching job yet with this squad this year. Jaleel Warren, back iron no good. Mapes comes in with the oh. rebound. Count it. She says, give me three and one for free, please. And you're seeing her going to the line for a chance at an old-fashioned three guys, three-pointer. Back iron. Can't get it to fall in. They're going to get Mac to me again. Yeah, with a push in the back. And that's a great job, you know. They're getting under McNamee's skin, and you know McNamee is too valuable to this team. She cannot get careless fouls like that because you know I mean she's a big part whether this team wins or loses. Yeah, you you don't want to pick up silly fouls 90 feet yeah. from your basket, you know, and just you know calm down a little bit and play your game and and don't let nobody you know get you frustrated with it. Well, both fouls have been kind of careless on her half and. There's Phelps, Weddington. Now all of a sudden they've cut this game back to single digits. Eight point game, Warren swings it over. Mapes. Yeah, she got it swatted by McCoy. I but thought that might have been poked out on Sparks there, but it was out on Phelps. You know, coming up, if Belfry can keep that trio together of Kiara Wool and Lexi Mapes and uh, Cogrove, this will be a team that will bring a region title back to Belfry. And we'll have Sparks going to the line. You know, Darrell, if, if I'm not mistaken, that, I think that makes about four or five offensive rebounds that Sparks has got already his first half. Yeah, yeah. She, she's, I mean, dominant. And that's one reason why Belfry's so hard to beat because they get second and third chance opportunities. Yeah, you, you've got to put a body on her and try to get her out of there. 
Marty Casey says, good luck, Hornets. Waddy Little tuning in. Uh, see Alyssa Varney says, let's go Pirates, former Pirate herself. Good to see you watching, Alyssa. And Dawson McCoy says, Phelps has to box out if they want any chance of winning this. I agree with you, Dawson. Yes. Now, Greg? You got uh, you got a little uh, meet in the game. You know your sons played for both these teams. Yeah, sure have. Yeah, they he was at uh, Phelps for three years. Went to Belfry this year, and yeah, yeah so, he. Yeah, it uh, uh so uh, has to be uh, hard on you who you want to win tonight. Uh, yeah, he <laughs> uh, he was talking about that. Uh, his girlfriend was a. Uh, Standout player for Phelps there. Yeah, absolutely. She's at U-Pike now, so. Amelia yeah. Casey. Yeah. And a really good player, good volleyball player. Well, Mates grabs the rebound. Here comes Mates on the push. Mates slowing it down, gets it to Warren. Now Warren backing it out. Going to try to get a quality shot here, Ellie Set. Screen. Nothing a good job stepping back. Oh. Jaleo Warren filling it up. You know, Jaleo Warren, she's one that, I mean, she has matured so much on and off the floor. You know, uh, it was a nice take. A really nice take. Couldn't convert. Million dollar move with 10 cent finish. Yep. <laughs> you come Warren back the other way. Oh, step back, another one. Oh, I'm sure well, on that one. The roof would have come off this place. She didn't nailed that one. Mapes. Kicks out to Warren. Screen out top. Warren. Cross court. Mates for three. She's off the mark. Oh, I missed a bunny. Yep. Jump ball. Good state of Pirates direction. And it does. You know, on, that, on this Belfry staff, let's see if they call a 30 or a full. I think they're calling a full, so we'll take one with them. We'll be right back here on the D&D &D Sports Network. No, did they say, yeah. So we'll take a quick break. If you was pushed out of the area because of loss of work in the coal industry, look no longer. Jim Mar is here for you. Jim Mar is now hiring for all positions in the coal field. Stop by their offices in Logan, West Virginia or in Willing, West Virginia and apply today. I'm Dr. Alan Baldwin. And we'd like to show you some of the services we offer here at Maynard Chiropractic. Big deep breath. Oh, yeah. Here at Maynard Chiropractic, we're taking all the necessary precautionary measures to ensure patient and provider safety. So schedule your appointment with Better Health today. And we are back here on Buckley's Creek right now. Belfry up 23 to 11 on the Phelps Lady Hornets. You got Greg Fleming, Daryl McCoy, and Jackson Estridge on the call here. Today's game brought to you courtesy of Southside Mall. Southside Mall, uh, that's where I spent a lot of my time back in my high school days, Greg. Yeah, as, cruising uh, around the mall up there on, uh, on listen, the weekends. Uh, cruising around the mall, <laughs> and then uh, they had a, uh, a game room, Station Omega. Spent a lot of time in there. Oh, yeah. Back in the Watson and Dahair days. So, uh, uh, yeah. Kind of tells how old we are when you start talking about stuff like that. <laughs> it does, but you can find a lot of stuff up at the mall right now. They got a, a couple great uh, Chinese and uh, Japanese restaurants up there. They got uh, Hibbits. Uh, they got a Dollar Tree up there. You know, uh, one thing I hear that they may be looking to bring back soon is a movie theater. Yeah, uh, I, I wish they would bring it back, you know, for the community and, yep. and all that. It, I've watched uh, many movies in that theater up for Yeah, absolutely. So there they go, pound it down to Potter, blocked by Sparks. You know, Daryl Phelps made a little run there, cut it down to eight, and then Belfry kind of opened it back up a little bit again. Yeah, and, and you know, it really started on Phelps not boxing out. Yep. There's three pointer, no good. Warren chases it down. Good hustle over there, both of them. Mike Perry says, uh, how you doing, Greg? Uh, long, long off <laughs> buddy there. He, yeah. he was a head coach at Tulsa High School years ago. Mike, Mike Perry. He's he got, know, he's he got knows a great son now that you know, is an excellent player over at Orange County. Yeah, Mr. Hayden Perry. Yes. 
Air Crash is the officiating crew is the best in the 15th region in his opinion. They do a wonderful job. Jennifer May says, let's go Phelps. Yeah. Warren's going to go to the line here as they are picked up the fifth foul, so they'll be shooting two here on out. You know, Phelps needs to get a couple buckets to fall here in this final minute 13 here to yeah. get a little momentum going to lock her. Yeah, if they can keep it, you know, if they can go down and score and keep it around 10, you know, they don't want to be down 16, 18 or nothing like that going into the second half. If they could just hang it around around 10, I think they'd be okay with it. Mm. That is Weddington. So you're going to walk it up here. Let's see what they call. As they got Callie McCoy out of the game right now. So, you know, I mean, I'm sure Weddington is going to be probably their primary scoring option right now. And stripped by Warren. She'll go back to the line. Yeah, you, know, you can you can tell right now watching how aggressive Warren is why she's averaging 18 a game. Yes, absolutely. You know, with, with her and uh, Sparks, that, that's a pretty good, you know, duo right there. It's as good as it gets. Yeah. yeah. You got your bigs and your guards, you know, I'll, I'll take that two-man game anytime right there. This Belfry team, you know, they could upset, you know, anybody on any given night, you know, with, with them two. Good job by Sparks converting on that one. Stretches out to 16 here, under a minute to play. Now Callie McCoy back in the game. See if Phelps can get a bucket here late in this first half. Swings it out to Weddington. Over to McCoy. Nice baseline jumper. No good, though. I had, I had a nice look at it. Just wouldn't fall. Yep. Warren. We inbound the ball here. Penzi Smothers says, let's go Belfry. You know, you got the 16-point lead right now, 30 seconds. You know, I believe I'd hold it for a last second shot. You know, you got a nice, comfortable lead there. Kick it in. Warren. A little shake, a little bait. Good defense coming over with the trap. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I thought that, you know, Coach McCoy made the right adjustments and really minimized what Sparks was doing to him. But there's Adeline Belcher sneaking back, in with the rebound. Backside rebound. You got to yeah. come over on that weak side. You know, the, he done a good job neutralizing Sparks, but he's let Julia Warren get loose. Here comes McCoy. She's going to stop, pop, and drop. Big nice. bucket by McCoy. Needed that there to go into the second half with. They absolutely did. We will go into the locker room with a 29-13 lead for the Belfry Lady Pirates. You don't want to go anywhere. Come right back and join us here in just a second on the Southside Buildings and Carports Halftime Show. This is Bruce Walters from Bruce Walters Kia. By now, you know Kia is a great vehicle, and you know they come with a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. So why should you buy from Bruce Walters Kia? At Bruce Walters Kia, we're going to change your oil for free for life. And what you do with that money you save is up to you. Come check out the 2022 Kia Carnival and the 2021 Kia Sorento. Only at Bruce Walters Kia in Pikeville. Or shop us online at brucewalterskia.com. Here at Logan Bank & Trust, we are committed to serving the needs of the Southern Coalfields. So if you need to borrow money, remember, we are just a click away. Here at lb and we make online banking easy. We've taken the hassle out of applying for a loan on our new website. It's as simple as going to our lb website and choosing the loan product that best suits your needs. Your loan on your time. Visit us at lb You're only a click away. So if you need to borrow money, remember, we are just a click away. It's easy to apply online at lbnt.com, and all decisions are made locally. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Looking for a new health care provider? Come see us at Tug Valley Wellness Clinic. We take all patients from the ages 2 and up. Our staff has over 30 years of medical experience. We do everything from DOT physicals, wellness exams, adult and child walk-in visits, and more. Call us today at 304-236-3601 and reach us Monday through Friday. 
If you're looking for a friendly and fun atmosphere to enjoy your daily cuisine, come to Cheech's Pizza in Lenore, West Virginia. Cheech's Pizza has world-renowned cheese sticks, delicious pizza, and the best subs in the pizza and pasta game. Don't forget to take advantage of our milkshake shop located inside. Bring your family down to meet ours. We are the place that treats you like family from the second you pull in the parking lot. We look forward to seeing you here at Chicha's Pizza.
Back here on Buckley's Creek, Greg Fleming, Jackson Estridge, Daryl McCoy as we're getting ready to get started here in the second half, Greg. First half, Pirates out big on the Lady Hornets as they're up 29-13 right now. What's your Bruce Walters keys to the second half? I, I think the first four minutes is going to be critical right here. If Phelps can make a little bit of a run and get it down to about 10 with the first four minutes, I think, you know, they can hang around and, and make a run for this game. But now if Belfry comes out on a 6-0 run, 8-0 run, and, and push it up to about 25, then, you know, Phelps is really going to have to, to crawl into it. But now Phelps has had some good looks. They're going to have to, you know, try to knock them down, and, and Sparks has killed them on the glass, try to, you know, get hurt off the glass. So. That's it. Phelps' shots just aren't falling for them right now, and they've got to get some to fall. You know, but we've seen Phelps make the comeback. You know, McCoy off the mark there. Clean look. Just couldn't just, get it to fall. Just couldn't get it to fall. You know, we see our guy Dwayne Abshire down there. Uh, Dwayne, huge supporter of DND Sports Network. Appreciate him and all the folks at Pike County Schools for being a huge supporter of the DND Sports Network. Got the board. Well, shake, bait. She got her in the corner, got a trap going. Yeah. Stepped out of bounds. She dribbled right into a double team, yep. and you know that's that's the first step. You know, right now, 29-13. If you're Belfry, you know, first step's getting this cut to 10. Yep. Weddington swings it over. Norman cross court. Uh -oh. yeah. You're not gonna come back with some no, plays like can't. that. It's hard to make that cross-court pass like that. I always talk kids, talk kids, you know, it's hard to pass over two lines, you know, unless you've got a, a nice throw on it. Well, we know, uh, we know our guy in the booth here with us. Uh, and he's uh, definitely likes trying it with that hook pass, don't yeah. he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the... Uh, I'm not a fan of the hook pass, Greg. No, it's, I, I'm more of a dead straight <laughs> chest pass, you know. I don't. That's it. Rebound by Sparks. Sparks clears the board. She's going to get it out. Guys, don't forget, third quarter is sponsored by Hornet's Restaurant. Hornet's Restaurant, number one cheese sticks in Pike County. Call them right now if you're watching the game. Tell them D&D Sports sent you. Speaking of Hornets, we see our guy Phil down on the bench. A nice look inside there. McNamee, one of my favorite athletes. Comes from a long line of athletics. McNamee name has a lot of history with athletics. You know, Darrell, back, back when I played in the late 90s and early 2000s, I remember we played Belfry and they had uh, a big football standout at that time, Jonathan Wright, that, uh, that, that played basketball. That, that, was, uh, that was my years that uh, uh jonathan was my best friend from middle school all the way up uh, to high school and uh we won a lot of county uh nah. ball games won a county championship together nah, he was a player now football and basketball he, he sure was big john was a beast kicks it over job he is the offense coordinator for philip haywood now, or well he i don't he's not the offense coordinator he's quarterback's coach I think, but uh, Jonathan just comes from great stock. You know, great person went and went on to play at UPOC football. But you know, if he, if, he, if he wouldn't have ever got into, you know, if he wouldn't have focused so much on football, he could have played Division One basketball. Yeah, you know I, mean? I, I mean, he he was. Now he was legit. He was. Yep. That was my junior year. I think it was his senior year. That's when the uh, so when did you graduate? 01? Oh, 01. Oh, yeah, yep. that was, we graduated in 2000. Weddington, that's an easy bucket. Now here you're building something here. Yeah, they they come out this little two two one press here and put a little bit of pressure on Belfry and cause a couple turnovers. Mm -hmm. Swing it back over the board over to Belcher. And the board and drives. She's looking for help. Again, good defense. Oh, my got by with one there. Hornets have turned the pressure up defensively here. Oh, may got away with the carry there. Kalen Sloan. Gonna get it out to Weddington. Weddington, you know, this is home to her. You know, she uh, she uh, played a lot of games here in middle school. Uh, come from Mullins. And, 
Then she, I think she played at uh, Johns Creek. Or no, take it back. She didn't play at Mullins, I don't think. Uh, I think she played her middle school ball at Johns Creek and was supposed to come to Pike Central and uh, ended up going to Phelps. And uh, she's had a really great career over there in Hornetville. Ooh, Reddington with the block. On the run. Oh, yeah, good uh, job there. Yeah, coming up from behind. Oh. Never quitting on the play. Come up from behind and get steal. She got tripped up there. Saved by the official. You know, the only way to stay warm this winter, Greg, is put a shed over your head. And you can do that with Southside Buildings and Carports. Man cave, she sheds, uh, electronic buildings, and more. Nice, nice floater. Man. There we go. Callie McCoy finally got something falling. Now we talked about getting it to 10. Right now you got it to 12. Need a stop here. Sparks. Kicks over to the board. Golly, the board. They got that zone on. They're trying to make them pull out of it a little bit there. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. They, uh -huh. Oh, another, another turnover. Turn yep. Yeah. Greg, you, you score here. You, you, you know, Coach right. Deskins might want a timeout. Yeah, you, uh, you know, get that timeout, have them come over and say, listen, you know, calm down a little bit. We're, we're all right. You know, the, we weathered their storm. They made a little run, but we're okay. So, well, I think A&H Supply in Belfry, Kentucky. Call A&H Supply today for drain pops, gravel, and more. Mulch. And get the turnover. Kind of shuffle her feet there a little bit. You know, Greg, that right there, you hate that because them kind of turnovers can really curve your momentum. Yes, it can. It's just the, the unforced errors that kind of just, you know, like you say, could kill your momentum on a, a good run. Billy Chambers says, I think your boy is a good basketball player. I appreciate that, Billy Chambers. I know you've watched him quite a bit. Face Potter jerks down the rebound. Big board by Potter. It's out to McCoy. Uh oh, got yep. try. oh, she got oh, out of it. She dribbled around. Yeah, you know, right uh -huh. there. A teammate's got to come flash to the basket there. Yes. Yeah, yeah you, you had three on your trapper and you yep. got out of it. So you got numbers. You got to have, like you said, somebody flash to the middle there and get a yep. good dump down. Donna Floyd watching from Kodak, Tennessee. Carolyn Dillard said turnover to Letton Phelps back uh, in the game. Got her a five second call. Yep, good defense by the Lady Pirates. Yeah, I look on that Lady Pirates bench and I see a familiar face, uh, Samantha Hackney. Sam Hackney is, uh, to, in my mind, she was the only girl I ever grew up on that I wasn't embarrassed to play basketball against. <laughs> like, you knew you had to guard her like a man. That's a nice dump down just, right there to Sparks. Beautiful dump down. Sparks uh, gets the Pirates' first basket in a long time. Yeah. Be big if the Hornets could get a bucket here. Turns over to Sloan. And you got to watch it, putting the ball that far behind yeah. your head. <laughs> Blocked Bump. by Sparks. I think that's about four blocks for Sparks. Well, don't be surprised if she don't get four more. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's another big block there by Weddington. I think that's Weddington's third block. Yeah. It's like, you know, I, I might be a little bit shorter than you, but I yep. can do the same work. <laughs> Lexi Mapes inbound the ball. Mapes thought about it. Back out. The board for three. In and out. Oh. The board with a rebound. You know, Sparks got her hand on it. She, right. she didn't come up with the offensive rebound, but she, she got her hand on it so Belfry could come up with it. Oh, that's going to be out of bounds. Yeah, right now, you got to watch if you're Coach McCoy. You know, may need a timeout just to give you girls a little rest here in a minute. Yeah, you because know, they've been playing really hard trying to cut back into this lead. It's back to 12. Or no, 14. I went to Belfry, don't judge me. <laughs> right. Oh, that would have been a big three right there. Yeah. They got Sparks over the back on that one. Scotty Dinga says, let's go Pirates. Says it's his favorite team. Appreciate you, Scotty. You guys hit that lock and share button. Get these numbers up. 
McCoy has it in that corner. That, that's a tough pass to make. Yeah, she's out from underneath the basket and yeah. through cross court. <laughs> yeah. Good job coming with the back tip. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Sloan there, yeah, she didn't give up on the play, you know. She came up for, uh-oh, they just. Yeah. Fell asleep. Yeah, fell asleep on that one. Yeah. There, McNamee with an easy deuce. One minute to go. Phelps needs a strong minute here. You know, they played so hard to crawl back in this thing, and they're letting it slip away here in these final two minutes of the first half. Credit Belfry playing really hard to close out the third quarter. And Sparks with another rebound. Jenna Sparks a walking double-double. Warren in and out. You know, that's good hustle there by Weddington coming out on that. Just kind of, I think she fell out of bounds with the ball, kind of got on her. Mm. Warren. Back over, a nice take by Mapes. Lost it, but Sparks There's found Sparks. it. <laughs> well, she that mid-range jumper, I'm telling you, they don't teach it a lot anymore, and, and she's got it, you know. She's hit three or four in that mid-range. I think she's perfected it. Yeah, see. Potter with the rebound. Callie McCoy for three. Oh, Sinks it. That was a big three right there. They needed that. Phelps with that pressure. They needed it in a bad way. Nice yeah. take and rode out the red carpet for yep. him. Yeah, that's a nice seal right there for it. Just get it a straight line drive into it. Nearly another five second call. Good defense by the board. And they, Phelps wanted the foul. They did call it. Yeah, I think they called it. So, well, no, neither one of them in foul it, trouble. Yeah, so. so it really. So, we're, as we're sitting here, you know, at the end of the quarter, guys, real quick, we want to thank Southside Buildings and Carports, as well as our good friends at Hornets Restaurant. Hornets Restaurant, proud supporter of the D&D Sports Network, as you see our guy Phil down here. You know, Phil is a uh, encyclopedia of Phelps basketball. You know, you can find him at Hornet Restaurant any day of the week. Uh, very good guy. These kids love Phil. And, uh, you know, since he's come on as coaching staff, they've done some big things. So you see the Lady Hornet cheerleaders there. You know, back in my day, you know, Phelps, and Belfry, that was the that was the big rivals. You know, Pike Central was good too. You know, but Phelps and Belfry had some really good teams back in the day with Sean Klusky and him, uh, Luke McCoy, Chris Hurley, I think Brandon. Uh, I can't remember Brandon's last name. And then uh, Pike Central. You know, that was back when you had Brad Lowe back in them days. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, uh, one of the biggest names around this area that came from Phelps, Urban State. Yeah. I mean. You know, I he, he's older than me, but I, I played a lot of independent ball games with Urban State. But I tell you, if you didn't guard him from half court, he's he's absolutely probably the best shooter I've ever seen. Uh, uh, well, uh, Irvin, even in the later days, you know, playing pickup ball, you know, I don't think that there's a uh, to me, you know, I know King Kelly is the goat, but in modern times. Irvin Steph was the best I, player. I you, I've, I've never seen uh, someone shoot the basketball like Irvin Steph could shoot it. Well, a little backstory there. You know, Irvin's dad welded, he cut a rim in two and he welded it to 13 inches. A bit, just big enough for a basketball yeah. to fit through. Yeah, so. it was just big enough. And uh, he actually, or I can't remember what the rim is now, but he, he cut it maybe a 15 inch rim and then he said he had a 13 once he got really good yeah. that he could shoot on said and really perfected his shot but he said that's how he learned to shoot when i hit it paid off that's for sure you yes, know it he did he is that and you know i had the privilege of playing against one of the best shooters i think over in west virginia with greg davis <laughs> I, I mean guarding him as soon as he crossed the uh, half court 
I mean, I've never seen a kid can be on a dead sprint and just pull up on a dime and go straight up and and knock it down. He now in my lifetime, you know, Irvin was like when I was really young. But, you know, since I've been older, you know, two best offense players that, that I've seen has been Greg Davis and Cameron Justice in the mountains. Yeah. That's a three no good by Potter. Uh, got a trap over here. Got a timeout. Phelps. Good but. job by Coach McCoy saving the possession. We'll take a quick break. Be right back here on the DND Sports Network. Unfortunately, water, mold, or fire damage can happen to you. Restoration One of Southern West Virginia is available 24-7 to help take the stress out of your mess. Our primary goal is to respond and restore your property back to normal as quickly and safely as possible. When disaster strikes, Restoration One is your go-to cleanup crew. Save our number now in case you need us later. Whether the job is big or small, give Restoration One a call. 304-443-4959. We are back here at Buckley's Creek. Greg Fleming, Daryl McCoy, Jackson Esther, John the call here right now. Belfry leading Phelps in a big way, 41-22. Phelps has to make something happen here as uh, coming out early in the fourth quarter. Carolyn Dillard says she loves Phil. Appreciate that, Carolyn. I know he'll like it too. There's a big bucket by Sparks. Another turnaround jumper, mid-range. Marshall Wagner says, uh, Phil's the man. They love Phil. Kim Maynard says, wasn't that Brandon Lane? Yes, you're 100% right. Was Brandon Lane. I think he spent time at Elkhorn City too, maybe. Nice look inside. Just another easy shot, you know, mm -hmm. good look. Just didn't fall. Angie Taylor says, uh, Pirates looking good. Appreciate you, Angie Taylor, and all of our friends, Cougar, Cross, and Angie at Southside Buildings and Carports. Another offensive huh. rebound. Didn't get a capitalize on that one. And here comes Kylie Weddington. Weddington, leave it over to McCoy. Nice job. Here we come. Mates. Good take by Mates. Right. That's a nice take there. You can draw the foul. The Potter on the, with the foul there. At the line for the Pirates, Lexi Mates. Two shots. The first one hard off the back of the glass. Guys, don't forget, we got a trio of Hornets coming in. Looks like that's going to be Kalen Sloan, who's 23 and 30. Uh, let's see, we got Charity Mounts, and 30 is. Sinks the second, Mapes. There's another timeout on the floor as they take the quick timeout. We'll figure it out when we come back. We'll be right back here on the D&D &D Sports Network. Southside Buildings and Carports and Southside Shed Hunters of Louisa, Kentucky offer shed hauling services up to 16 by 52 long buildings. We also have lofted cabins, utility cabins, garages, man caves, she sheds that you can customize and order to your wants and needs with many different options such as workbenches, shelving, transom windows, and much more. You can go to the location or buy using 3D Builders online order system. You can build right from your own home. We offer metal garages and carports that are built to any size and installed right on your property. For more info, call 304-928-0060 or 304-928-0062. Here at Southside Buildings and Carports, we've got you covered. And we are back here as you see the Phelps Lady Hornet cheerleaders over there trying their best to get Phelps back in this thing. Good job, Eric. Out of the timeout, getting a bucket. Kevin Deskins, really good at that, drawing uh, plays out of the timeout and executing them. Right. There you go. Lady Hornets still not able to get shots to fall here. No, just, you know, they've had a several good looks, Daryl. Just, just couldn't get nothing to go down. 
Guys, don't forget, let us know during the game who you think the Mingy Beef Jerky player of the game should be. And after the game, we will uh, definitely take your recommendation into strong consideration. Live from the 60th District Tournament here, the ND Sports Network has you covered all night or all week long, thanks to our friends at Southside Buildings and Carports, uh, Southside Mall, and Hornets Restaurant. Eugene Newsom said, "Good job, Air." He has a nice screen yep. on the back side there. She's going to go to the line here and shoot a couple. Sparks will, again, the Tusculum College commit. Now, uh, Eugene said the diameter of a basketball rim is 18 inches, and uh, basketball is 9.5. You can you can fit, and I've seen it before, you can fit two, two basketballs yeah. inside a rim. But Irvin shot on a 15-inch rim, and then his dad had a 13-inch rim. That tells you how special. Think of that. Yeah, you have to be, you know. Yeah, sharp shooter. Yes, you do. Here comes Weddington. And, and you know, Darrell, at, at Irvin's time, they, I don't think they had a three-point line at that time neither. They didn't. So They didn't, and he averaged 56 one year and 57 another. Well, I mean, you know, that's just that's yeah. remarkable. I mean, that's just that's insane there. Uh, Hornetville should be very proud of that guy. Jerry Allen says, watch him from Mount Sterling. Appreciate that. Three. There we go. Yep. By Sloan. Phelps still in this 2 2 1 press, trying to cause a few turnovers. Yeah, and, you know, I, I think, and there you see Sparks with it, you know, I, I think they may have stayed in it a little too long. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a 22 point game now, so. You know, the, uh, the girls, you know, with a limited bench, you know, it could bite you, you know, pressing that long. But they done a good job just cutting back into the lead. Just wasn't able to ever really get it back down the single digits. They're still battling, though. They, they have Phelps that never gave up. You know, they, they battled from the tip, and they're still going strong with it. And, you know, the interesting thing, though, that people don't forget, normally – they're going to get a charge oh, on Warren. Warren with a shove there. Yeah. The interesting thing about this year is used to it was lose and go home. Now, Super Region. Yeah, they got that Super you, right. Yeah. You know, Darryl, I've tried to figure it out. I, I, <laughs> I, it's over my head, I guess. I don't know. I just – something about, you know. Well, the the, the winner of districts automatically get uh, punt, gets a ticket to uh, Appalachian Wireless Arena. So, the two seeds – will play uh, the the four or the three and four seeds will play from each district and the two seeds will get a bye. And, okay, and then the winner of the three yeah, and four game goes plays to the two. two. Okay. Yeah, and then the winners of that game will go to the Appalachian Wireless Arena. There's Jaleel Warren off the mark on that one. Sparks there to clean up the mess, couldn't convert. McCoy grabbed the rebound. Ooh, Sparks nasty block. block. She says, get that out of here, not on my watch. Warren, step back. Three. Sink sucked. Julia Warren having herself a night. She's got a nice step back on her. It makes, yep. I think, about two or three that she's done. Gonna be out of bounds. Go Belfry's away. Look up the top here. We got uh, Tyler Weddington in the house. The big dog, averaging a double-double. Nah, off the mark, Kaylin Sloan going to grab the rebound. She is pressured by Adeline Belcher. I've been impressed with Adeline Belcher. You know, Darrell, uh, Cameron Smith, coach of boys Phelps team, he, yeah. he's done a great job with that group this year. He's he, done a tremendous job. He, he really has. He... He, he's got them playing hard for him, and and you know, they, if I'm not mistaken, I think they've beat Belfry twice in the season. They have. You know, they, they've got their shot, you know, got an opportunity to, to make it to regionals. She leaves it short, McCoy does. Yeah, they got a shot, as, and you speak of Cameron Smith, right there he is. You know, I think he lost a bet with the team, dyed his hair blonde. Yeah, he got a, got a bunch of blondes down there yeah. now, so. But I got the utmost respect for Cameron and the job that he's done, not just with the basketball team, but he's the AD over there too. Tremendous job. Hey, he has. He uh, 
he, he coached my son there, you know, for yep. uh, I think he was there two years, and then he, he stepped down yeah. and then came back. Angie Vanover says, uh, who's home and who is guest? Belfry is home, Phelps is guest. Right now, 52-27, Lady Pirates up. You're watching the d, &D Sports Network, 60th District Tournament action between Belfry and Phelps. First postseason game in the 15th region, and we got you covered. Swing it over. Went through her hands. Yeah. Guys, make sure you stay tuned all week long for 60th District Tournament action right here on the D&D &D Sports Network. Belfry milking the clock a little bit now. Ain't in yep. no hurry, just walking it up the floor. Warren. Looking for help there. You're getting mugged by Bailey Norman. Norman doing <laughs> she's, a good job. She's put pressure on yeah. her now for sure. Yeah, Bailey Norman is a really uh, good defender. I don't think she gets the credit she deserves a lot of times. At the line for the Pirates, Julia Warren. Appreciate each and every one of you guys tuning in. You're watching this game courtesy of Southside Buildings and Carports, Southside Mall, and Hornets Restaurant. Also want to thank Bruce Walters Ford. A&H Supply, Three Guys Pizza and Brew, and our good friends at Holland Jones Funeral Home. We got some subs coming in now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Guys, uh, if you come over to Pikeville this week, make sure you take advantage of Sal's Steakhouse. Sal's Steakhouse, number one pound for pound place to eat in Pikeville, Kentucky. Darrell, I tell you, that Sal's, it's a <laughs> good place to eat now. It sure is. There's no better ribs in the business no. than Sal's. I, I was over there one time and uh, got a steak, and they brought me out a baked potato. I'm telling you, I believe three people could have <laughs> ate it. It was so big. Go see them, guys. Celebrate your game day victories with Sal's Steakhouse. Yeah. Off the mark. Belfry battling for it. It should be a jump Good ball. Hustle. Yeah. And if you're in the Belfry area, don't forget Southside Malls have uh, a lot of nice restaurants in it. Hit Southside Malls up. And also want to thank Three Guys Pizza and Brew. Now the board, Belfry, slowing it down here. You know, no reason to hurry here. Yeah, don't have to be in no hurry. It's a nice look inside. But. Yep. Got it to McNamee, and McNamee's had herself a nice she little has. game. She has. She, uh, you know, at first quarter she picked up a couple fouls, but yep. she settled down, you know, and let the game come to her, and she has. She's had a nice game. McCoy, you're going to draw the foul. Again, Kelly McCoy is the coach's daughter. Foul on the floor. Now, Darrell, you know, I guess Belfry moves on to play Pike Central now, right? Yep, they will play Pike Central in the 60th District Championship because uh, 60th District only has three uh, teams. And then uh, Phelps will drop down to the Super Region bracket and they'll await the winner of some other district. They'll draw, I think, on uh, Wednesday. Okay. Tuesday or Wednesday, they'll draw. So they, they kind of wait until all the winners are... Uh, well, not uh, till the first round's over, until oh, okay. they know, okay, you know who the one and the two seats are. Yeah, Belfry just dribbling it out now. It looks yeah. like. Bring it over, Mapes. Back over. Clock will run out. It's the Lady Pirates of Belfry advancing, and they will take on Pike Central in the 60th District Championship. And I tell you, we'll talk about that a little more as soon as we come back, right here in just a second, on the Holland Jones Post Game Report. If you're looking for a great selection and a great experience for your next Harley-Davidson, come on down to Mount State Harley-Davidson here in Del Barton, West Virginia. We have new 2023 models in stock and ready for delivery. Special financing available. Or choose pre-owned with one of the largest inventories in the tri-state area with great low prices. 
Visit our showroom filled with licensed Harley-Davidson apparel and more. Don't write that check until you check with us, Mountain State Harley-Davidson, 61 Priest Bottom Road, or visit us online at mountainstatehd.com. Southside Buildings and Carports and Southside Shed Hunters of Louisa, Kentucky offers shed hauling services up to 16 by 52 long buildings. We also have lofted cabins, utility cabins, garages, man caves, she sheds that you can customize and order to your wants and needs with many different options such as workbenches, shelving, transom windows, and much more. You can go to the location or buy using 3D Builder's online order system. You can build right from your own home. We offer metal garages and carports that are built to any size and installed right on your property. For more info, call 304-928-0060 or 304-928-0062. Here at Southside Buildings and Carports, we've got you covered. And we are back here on Buckley's Creek as Greg Fleming, Daryl McCoy, Jackson Estridge on the call here. Belfry got the big 55 to 37 victory over the Phelps Hornets. And Greg, it was uh, Jenna Sparks and Jalea Warren Co, Mingy Beef Jerky, players of the game. You, you know, Daryl, them two, they, they really played up to their potential today. You yep. know, that, as we talked earlier, that, that's a two, uh, you know, a dominant duel right there that I'd love to have. You got your guard and your, and your big, right? It's hard to, it's hard to, you know, play off on your guard to try to, to help on your big when you got a guard that can knock <laughs> down shots. And then it's hard to, to jump uh. out on the guard when you got a big underneath there. So, you know, Belfry's got something special right there with and that too. The thing that I like too is this team's very unselfish. Yes, you they know, are. They yes. move the basketball and everybody gets involved. Yes. It's not one person out there, you know, I've got to get mine before yeah. anybody else gets theirs. So and, and and it showed today. You you know, you got you got five you know, in the couple that comes off the bench, everybody plays together, the coached well. It, it's not all about me, it's about us. Yep. And and when it when it gets to be about us, then good things happen like tonight. You know, you move on. You're 100 percent correct there. And you know, Phelps, listen, don't think you know. I mean, their season isn't over. Now that Super Region's around, they drop down to the Super Region. This team's good enough to step up and shock somebody. And, and you know, I, that's what you got to talk to about in the locker room. You know, okay, tonight wasn't our night. We had some good looks. We we just couldn't knock them down. But it's not over. You know, we, we still live to fight another day. Now we got to worry about what's ahead of us. We can't come back and look at this because this one's done over with. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, that's you can't live in the past. And that, that's right. Sit and look. You know, I mean, this uh, these two teams, you know, Belfry, at the beginning of the year, Pike Central looked like they was going to run away with the uh, with the region and uh, or with the district. And, uh, Belfry, like I said, they're the hottest team in the region right now. They came back, and this Belfry team is very dangerous. This is a team that, you know, if Pike Central don't watch, Belfry will come and knock them off on their home floor. and sneak right in there and, and, and be your champions and move on. They don't, don't have to play in no playing game for them, you know. Yep. Just take care of their business, and, and they'll be right there waiting. And I don't. I think it's Monday night. Maybe uh, the Belfry and Phelps boys game plays, which will be a really good ball game. Yes, it will. That, like we talked, you know, they had, they had two really good games early. If I'm not mistaken, I think one of them I went in overtime. If I'm if I'm memory serves me right, uh, yeah, the one over at Phelps I know was really good game. Yeah, and um, and the Weddington kid, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think he he. What had forty and twenty or yeah, something like yeah, that? So yeah. I mean, you know, he he he's a handful underneath. Yeah, but that, but that'd be a matchup right there. You know, either he'd go either way. It, it absolutely can. And uh, you know, if uh, you folks are going home, make sure that you uh, swing over Hornets Restaurant tonight. Tell Misty and the crew that DND Sports Network uh, sent you. As we see Phil down there, he's waiting. Uh, for the team to come out so he can let them know what they did wrong. That's our guy, Phil. Uh, we also, guys, uh, want to thank Southside Buildings and Carports. You know, uh, Man Cave, She Sheds, and more. You know, them buildings, Greg, you know, 
a lot of people are making them offices. They're so well built these days. You know, they're just like a home or a double wide. I mean, Southside Buildings and Carports does it better than nobody else. And, and Daryl, you know, it's funny. It's like I just bought one off of them about oh, two weeks you? ago. Sure did. A 16 by 20. There you so, see, Angie. The, uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, my, my wife jumped on to me over her garage saying, you know, I need to clean it up. So I just went and bought another building. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. we just – put stuff in it now so <laughs> yeah, hey, there you go that's that's the way to do it and i'm sure angie and him appreciates it guys uh cross taylor come set it up for you they did yeah they, they come and set it up i mean really really good people you know I, I don't know them other than just having the you know the dealings with them when i went and bought them but i'll tell you one thing they they helped out i mean i every question i had they had an answer for it and uh, they the official day that they were supposed to bring it's when we got that big snow. Yeah. And, and she she was right on top. She called me and said, hey, you know, we got this snow. And I told her, I was like, listen, you couldn't get where I was at anyway at that time. Right. So, yeah. I mean, she worked with me, and, and everything just works out perfect. I'm telling you, they, if I buy another one, I'll go back there to buy another one. Well, guys, make sure you visit them two businesses as well as our friends at the Southside Mall. Go up and see the Hannahs. Listen, you can got anything you want at the Southside Mall. Guys, it's where everybody goes. And, uh, you know, it's Kentucky's, uh, uh, and I don't know if it's true or not, but we're going to say it is, Kentucky's only indoor carpeted mall. A lot of people go in there and do their walking. Uh, you know, I, I know when you go up there, Southside uh, Buildings and Carports, for all ages, there's something for us. So make sure you guys go up there. But, guys, for Greg Fleming, Jackson Estridge, Daryl McCoy, you've watched another broadcast here live from Buckley's Creek at the 60th District Tournament. The ND Sports Network will have you covered on all your 60th District action, so make sure you stay tuned in here to the number one leader in sporting news. Till next time, so long.